I have something to share with you today, and it's somewhat personal. With her permission, I am showing you my wife's SCOBY. I'm not sure if the picture does it justice, but a SCOBY is a living thing, a symbiotic culture uh, of bacteria. And when I was first introduced to it, I will admit, I found it a little weird and even mildly creepy. However, when it comes to brain health and cognition, this SCOBY is seriously good stuff. Hi, I'm Tony Daring of GoCogno.com the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. Now, if you had told me, even a short time ago, that a SCOBY and kombucha were going to come into my life, I would have not only had no idea what you were talking about, I would have not even thought you were speaking English. However, kombucha is uh, trending right now. Uh, this is kombucha. It's a probiotic fermented tea, and it's uh, quite a healthy drink. You can buy it like this in stores, or if you happen to have your very own SCOBY, as we do now, you can make your own kombucha. I'm surprised to say this, but I've found that I've kind of bonded with our SCOBY. We almost I feel like it's become a member of the family. In fact, the uh, mama SCOBY uh, recently had a baby SCOBY and it, it felt like some kind of event in our lives. Uh, however, my goal today is not to try to convince you to drink kombucha. What I really want to talk about is how to choose health habits in a way that offers you the greatest possible benefit. And in order to do that, what you're looking for is things that offer a multitude of brain health benefits. And I think about that by asking myself, how many boxes does this check? And the more boxes, the better. Let me give you a quick example. Ballroom dancing. It's a form of exercise, check. It's a social activity, check, and learning the dance steps stimulates your cognition, check, check, check. And that's what led me to be interested in kombucha because it checks a lot of boxes too. As I mentioned, it's probiotic. Kombucha is basically made of black tea. And there is significant research to show that drinking black tea or green tea benefits cognition and reduces the risk of dementia. Because kombucha is fermented, it's a bubbly drink, like soda, which makes it an ideal substitute for someone who's trying to cut back on soft drinks. Personally, I like kombucha. I enjoy the taste. That's one of the most important ingredients in any health habit, because if you find something that you enjoy, then you're much more likely to stick with it. And then there's the SCOBY. If you happen to get into kombucha enough that you decide to make your own, creating a SCOBY is a delicate but doable task, and learning how to do it is a powerful form of cognitive stimulation. Now, now, let me make it clear. I had nothing to do with the making of our SCOBY. After a series of unfortunate misadventures, I've been more or less banned from the kitchen. So my wife made the SCOBY, and she got the cognitive benefit of that. But I get all the other benefits, and there are many. Again, look at all the boxes that we're checking here. So no, I'm not trying to force kombucha down your throat. All I'm really doing is encouraging you to evaluate health habits and look for those that are going to offer you the greatest possible benefit. It pains me to see people sitting at home 
doing Sudoku when we know it offers no cognitive protection and it really doesn't check any of the brain health boxes. So just try to evaluate the things uh, that you're either doing or that you're thinking about doing. This exercise of checking the box is simple and it's something you can just do on your own. Or if you want a little help, I created this check the boxes form. If you want it, send me an email at tonydeering at gocogno.com and I'll send it to you. Thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, as always, be kind to your mind.